Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Hugga Box for August of 2022. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Hugga Box, this is a monthly subscription that brings you coziness and happiness to live that Hugga lifestyle each month. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what Hugga means, it's a Danish lifestyle. Um, so it's like coziness, happiness, enjoying life's pleasures. I love the meaning behind Hygge, and this is a monthly subscription that brings that to your door each month. Now, there are two different subscriptions through Hygge, the standard and the deluxe. I believe I have the deluxe. This was sent to me free for review, but we'll see when we get inside. So the standard box comes with four to five items each month and is $46 a month. Then there is the deluxe box, which comes with five to seven items, and that box is $52 a month. And if you don't want to subscribe, they do have one-time purchase boxes available in their shop as well. The only way that you can get this box is through their website. They do only ship within the US. Now, if you're interested in getting this box, they ship between the 15th and the 18th of the month. You have to purchase it the prior month to get it. Um, so now you'd be, I think you'd be getting the September box if you signed up now. But this is a great box as we're going into fall with the cozy feelings and things like that. And fall for me is cozy season. So I'm very excited to get inside. Now, because this one is sent to me free for review, I do have a 5% off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, things like that, make sure that you give a video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload. <music> So like I said, the box is stunning. Get lots of cute things inside. So the Higa box always comes with things like the elements of light, drink, and snack. And then usually there's some additional items like home decor accessories and wellness related things. So you're always gonna get that element of light. You're always gonna get a snack and a drink. And then the other things are kind of random. It is a very much a lifestyle subscription. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. It talks all about Higa and the meaning behind Higa, which is just so great and just like, just appreciating life and love and coziness. Then on top you have the card, which is so cute on the back. It does list everything that's inside, but I love that you can definitely like use this as artwork. It does say shop Hugga box in there, but it's like, you can hardly tell. So you could frame this or use this to decorate with, which is also really nice. And it looks like the theme this month is daydream. So it does talk a little bit about the theme. It kind of talks about taking 20 minutes, just think about whatever inspires you and it can help you relax. And that is very much the Hugga way. Ooh, the very first thing out is very fancy. Um, these are pate de fruits, I guess. And these are French, I guess they're little strawberry like things. What does it say here? <laughs> it's a French confection that dates back to the 10th century in the region of Auvergne in France. I, I don't speak French, so I probably butchered that. Um, so this is like preserved fruit jellies. Um, they also have Sichuan pepper leaves in here to create a soft and chewy confection. Um, and I guess maybe they're, do they have spices because of that? I'm not sure, but these look really, really, really good. Um, I am a big fan of like jelly-y, gummy-y type things. It has the nice little like sugary outside and like it's made with like real fruit so you can feel somewhat okay about it. It does say it has Szechuan pepper leaves so I'm wondering if that adds an element of spicy at all, which I'm not against. It doesn't say that it is spicy and it does, I, I think French cuisine is not typically too spicy. Um, but I'm very, very excited about these. I'm a big fan of gummy candies. I love fruity things and strawberry things, and we still are in summer, so it makes a lot of sense, even though mentally I have moved on to fall, y'all. The next thing that I'm pulling out is a little sh face mask, and it's a three-step face mask. So there's three different steps for this. This is the Super Cactus Glow Facial. So it's a repairing and hydrating three-step routine that has a cleanser, a sheet mask, and a moisturizer for a complete facial in under 20 minutes. So you can make it a little spa day um, with this. And there's something else that can kind of help the spa day as well. Ooh, this is fun. So you wash your face, you do the mask, and then you put on the little moisturizer. I love that. That is really fun. I'm going to have to do a nice little spa night with this. I haven't done a spa night in a very long time, but this looks super nice. And then there's also this candle. And you could obviously kind of like burn this while you're doing your little self-care routine. Um, this is a soy candle, and this is in the scent... 
agave citron. So it has notes of lemon peel, citrus, agave, tangerine orange, mandarin, lime, and sugar. Ooh, this sounds like something I will really like. I'm gonna guess like fresh citrus. Oh, that is, that is good. That's like sweet citrus yummy. <laughs> we all know my candle scent descriptions are what they are, so we're just gonna live with it. This smells good. This is like a top tier candle scent for me. I love that a lot. So just a nice little soy candle. This is a beautiful clean scent and this is a perfect summer pick me up that'll put you in a cheerful mood. I 100% agree. This is like a happy candle and it smells really good and really yummy and has like a nice little sweetness. So this is definitely a candle that I'm excited to burn. I love the gold top. It's from Higa House Company. Um, and I definitely feel like you can like do your sheet mask, have your little candies, burn your little candle. I'm like, this is like a vibe and I'm here for it. The next thing out is a product from Tokyo Milk and this is a hand cream. This is their Sonorin Bloom Hand Cream. Tokyo Milk stuff is always packaged super nicely. I mean, you've got like gold foiling on the inner box. Like their packaging is like a 12 out of 10. It's really nice. And then this is the lotion itself. Curious, is it open? Oh no, yeah, this is the kind that you have to like stab it to open. So I don't wanna open it right now just because um, I'm not ready to like completely break that seal. And this is a metal seal. So you do have to like stab it with something to open it. Um, and the uh, Tokyo Milk is by Margot Elena, which I know they have their own subscription box too. Um, so it has Pret Petrichor, uh, saguaro flower, agave, and red clay. I have no idea what that smells like. <laughs> but the packaging is always super stunning. Like their packaging is just always really, really nice on the Tokyo Milk products. So I'm really excited. I love using hand creams. I love keeping a hand cream by my bed. Every night before I go to bed, I put a little hand cream on. Um, and so I'm always a fan of getting a hand cream, especially as we start to trundle into the, trundle, who am I? Why am I using that word? Into the <laughs> winter months or no, we're not, it's not winter, it's fall. Losing my mind right now, oh my goodness. But um, I love making sure that my hands are hydrated. And so this is a great little product and goes along with this kind of like self care and relax and daydream. The nice thing about a sheet mask is you usually can't move around a lot when you're wearing a sheet mask. I feel like it slides around and so, how long does it say to leave it on? 20 minutes, which is perfect because you have 20 minutes to daydream. And so I'm really loving the theme behind this. All right, so the next thing out is this here. Now this thing is entirely in French. Like everything on this package is French. I don't speak French. I'm not gonna butcher anything. I'm not even gonna try, but it does say Auguste, which makes sense in an August box. Um, I have no idea if that's why this is in here, but this is a green tea, according to the sheet here. So it says here that Auguste captures the exotic nutty flavor of coconut and the natural sweetness of pineapple in a deliciously refreshing green tea that will have you dreaming of lazy days on a tropical beach, beach like vacation in a cup. This sounds delicious. Now I normally don't, this will have caffeine since it's a green tea. I normally don't drink any caffeine, but this sounds really, really nice. Um, and, ooh, oh my goodness. Get a little chunky chunk, like, like, like you, the green tea and the little like pineapple-y things? I don't know what Auguste is, if it's like some, if it's like a specific, is that a flavor or is it an ingredient? I don't know. Um, either way, I am very excited about this. So there's always like, like I said, a snack, a drink, and an element of light. So that's kind of what was touched on there. Now that was everything that you would have received in the standard box. The additional product that you would have received in the deluxe box is this here, which is a mango wood bowl. So it says add a touch of rustic charm to your table setting with this gorgeous bowl. It's ethically produced and handmade and each bowl is made of mango wood from trees that no longer bear fruit and features a stunning high gloss interior. Um, now this is hand wash only, do not soak, and it's not suitable for hot liquids. So I would say this is probably more of like a display bowl, like maybe put little fruits or something in it. Um, but it's really, really nice. I love the blue. That's very like summer and fun, but I love the more like outside, like I just love mango bowls and things like this. And this is from Danica Heirloom, which is nice. Um, and I like that it is, did it say it was fair trade? It's ethically produced. I don't know if it's fair trade, but it is ethically produced. 
Um, so this is a super nice kind of like little home decor touch. So that is everything in the Huga box for August. Now, obviously because it's August, that is technically still summer. Even though in my, in my brain, when we hit August, I switch to fall, which is not how it's supposed to work, but just something about August, I don't know. But the next few boxes are going to kind of transition to fall, and I feel like Hoga does really, really good fall boxes, so I'm really excited to see what their fall boxes look like. But this is what kind of like their summer box looks like, and I thought it was really good. This candle smells so incredible. I can't wait to try these. I love that it's kind of an experience and that a lot of the products make sense together. But definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the Hoga box? What do you think about daydreaming? What do you like to daydream about? I don't know, is that a too personal? Like, what do I like to daydream about? Well, usually about this channel <laughs> and what I'm gonna do with it and all that kind of stuff. And then I also like to daydream about what food I'm gonna eat and about what my life is gonna look like five years from now. <laughs> I don't know, what are the things that you like to daydream about? I'm curious, are there specific things that you really love to daydream about? Let me know down in the comments below. Again, I do have a 5% off coupon code on this box if you're interested in signing up. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss on a future upload. And I'll see you in my next video.